Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we are going to be building this analog clock using JavaScript, and it is drawn on the HTML5 canvas. So let's get started. This is what I have for HTML, canvas, and linking to our clock JavaScript file, which is empty right now. And I'm linking to this vector.js file that I wrote, it just is going to do all of the trigonometric math for us. And you can download this, there's a link in the description. So let's get started. Okay, so define our variables, canvas and context, draw function that we're going to be calling every so often, and init function, initialize everything. All right, canvas, grab that from the document. Context equals context. And we're going to set the dimensions of the canvas. OK. And then set interval. We're going to run the draw function every 10 milliseconds. OK. Now in this draw function, first we're going to grab the current time because we're going to draw our clock based on that. I'm going to write a quick function inside here. what we're going to do here is subtract the current time in milliseconds from midnight. And so that'll give us the amount of milliseconds that have passed today. So zero hours. Zero minutes. zero seconds and zero milliseconds current milliseconds since January 1970 minus mid the milliseconds at midnight tonight or midnight this morning Okay, and then we have hours equals time divided by 60 times 60 times 1,000. Minutes equals hours times 60 modulo 60 minute minutes. Seconds equals minutes times 60 modulo 60. And then one more variable, and that is C, stands for center of the canvas. X canvas dot width divided by 2, and Y canvas dot height divided by 2. All right, now let's draw the second hand. I'm going to put this in a helper function over here, second hand, oh, and we have to clear the canvas too, so, all right. Now in the second hand function, um, we'll say context line width, width, width equals one and a half pixels, stroke style black. All 
and then we're going to draw a line to some point. And we're going to use the vector um, class, the vector file that I wrote here to figure out where that is. So let v equals a new vector. And then we put in a magnitude and an angle, and it'll spit us out an x and y coordinate. So vector, what magnitude, so how long? We're going to make it 95 pixels long. And at what angle? Well, figure out the angle here and put in a different variable. It's going to be a fraction of math.pi times 2, which is the full circle in radians. A fraction of that. And that fraction is seconds over 60. And then since 0 in the JavaScript canvas is straight right, and 0 on a clock is straight up, we have to subtract math.pi divided by 2. So that's our angle. And then we will move a draw a line to v.getx plus c.x and v.gety plus c.y. And then stroke. OK, so let's see what that looks like. We have a second hand going around the face of an empty clock. Well, it's a start. OK, now on to the minute hand, which is going to be pretty similar. Change the name. The line width here is going to be 4. And this is going to be minutes divided by 60, because there's still 60 minutes each time the minute hand goes around. And that looks good. So now we have a minute hand as well. And uh, I'm going to set the line cap equal to round, so that we don't have uh, square ends to our hands. There we go, that looks nice. Now on to the hour hand, which is again going to be pretty similar, but different. 60 and hours divided by, well it takes 12 hours to go around the clock. And uh, this is still called minute hand, so hour hand and hour hand. Now we have our three hands, and let's draw the face of the clock. First, we're going to draw the border, which is a circle. Get 140 pixels as radius, zero. It's a full circle, so. And we'll set um, line width equal to five. And it's going to be black. So now we have a circle around our clock for border. And now let's draw some dashes that indicate seconds. This is going to be in a for loop. Sixty seconds to go around the clock. So I right, plus plus. Radius uh, 135, length equals 5. And then this 
this is going to be a light gray against the white. So partially transparent black. But if I modulo 5 equals 0, then R minus equals L, L times equals 2, and stroke style is going to be darker. RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5. And then we're going to have to do another vector. Let v equal new vector. R and at what angle? That's going to be math.pi times 2 times i over 60 minus math.pi divided by 2. Okay, so first point, and now we're going to modify the vector a little bit because these are going to be dashes around the outside rim. So v dot set mag equals to r plus l to get the end point, the other end point of the line. And the contents of here are going to be the exact same. And we're going to have to set the line width again. Equal to like 3. Okay, and now we have a bunch of dashes around the clock at each second mark. Okay, let's add some numbers around the clock. That's kind of important. Numbers. Now let's set the font. 18 pixel. Noto Sans. And I is representing each number here. So we're just going to say ctx.fill text I at what x and y. Well, we have to use another vector for that. And how far out are these going to be? Eh, 113 pixels, probably. And the angle is going to be math.pi times 2 times i over 12 minus math.pi over 2. OK. And then we're filling it at v.getx plus c.x and v.gety plus c.y. And then to make sure that the numbers are centered, because right now they're kind of offset a little bit, not quite perfect, we have to set the baseline and the text align. So ctx.text align center. and text baseline middle. So now they'll be much better centered. OK, just two more things to do. We're going to add a center button here around the origin point of the three hands. And we're going to give the second hand a tail. So let's draw this button, center button. Um, Context begin path arc at the center radius of two point five and start angle of zero math math dot pi times two because it's a full circle. Okay. Then fill style 
equals white and stroke style equals black fill and I'm gonna say line width equals 2.5 maybe that's a little small we're gonna uh, increase this to maybe 3.75 that looks nice and then oh my numbers have disappeared I've set the uh, fill style up here again there we go they're back and now I'm just adding a tail to the second hand right here so what we're gonna do is say let v2 equal a new vector negative 20 as the magnitude and same angle it's just going backwards you know and then we'll say v2 get x plus center x and v2 get y plus center y and now our second hand has a tail all right everybody we're all done that is how you make an analog clock in javascript using the html5 canvas i hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope you learned something from it don't forget to subscribe my name is jacob and have a good one